This video is all about the French horn. Your French horn case will probably be more of a hard plastic. This is what we call a gig bag. It's a softer case for traveling and going from gig to gig. Now, you'll know that it is right side up by the pocket, or you may have the label for the company or the, the company you're renting from or the brand of the instrument. So look for that. And also, if you have Velcro or latches, they all lift up. Take the zippers, bring them all the way around. And here's your French horn. Now, I prefer to have, I have a Norwex cloth here has several purposes and we'll talk about those when we talk about care and maintenance. You might have a different kind of cloth but I like the Norwex. Um, the instrument itself is pretty simple. You have the bell, tubing, three rotary valves, and the lead pipe here. Your mouthpiece is slightly smaller than the trumpet or trombone but it is basically the same thing. When I put the horn together, I'm going to reach in with my left hand and grab it here. Then take the mouthpiece. I'll close my case so it doesn't fall off. Then the mouthpiece goes in the lead pipe, just straight in. As far as it'll go, we don't want to cram it in, just set it in gently and then a little twist. Again, just set it in gently with a little twist. To properly hold your French horn, like all the other band instrument players, you want to be sitting at the edge of your seat with your back nice and straight with good posture. Now, your left hand is going to hold the French horn about here, and we'll talk about the fingers later. And your right hand is going to go in the bell. Now, years ago, the French horn did not have any of this tubing. It was a hunting horn, and those on the horses would put the horn around their body so that the bell went behind them. With the bell behind them, all the other hunters on their horses could hear the hunting calls. Years later, when they decided to make the French horn an indoor instrument, they added valves. So the, the horn is still played with the left hand. Now, the right hand, you're going to form a shape that looks just palms, things to get, fingers together, thumb tucked in, palm up, as if you're going to hold a teaspoon, maybe even a tablespoon of water. Now, when you slide the hand in, you're going to rest the horn on this knuckle. So when you slide it in, you're gonna slide it in till that knuckle hits. Now, changing your position of the hand changes the tone of your instrument. It also changes the pitch of your instrument. So it's important to have a nice cupped shape to start with and rest it on that knuckle. Now, when you lift, you're going to hold the instrument up off your leg and away from your side. And the instrument will be at a slight angle not straight up like the trumpet, but at a slight angle. Eventually, when you feel comfortable holding the French horn and you want to stand to play, it's the same thing. Sitting, standing. To disassemble the French horn, very easy. Open up your case. Remember, you just gently place the mouthpiece in, so it's a slight twist and it should come right out. You're going to place the mouthpiece in the mouthpiece holder. And then your French horn will really only go in one way. The way the case is built, the bell goes in here and the rotary valves are on the top. You never want to reverse it so that the French horn is sitting on the valves. You always want the valves on the top. When you're finished, Putting it inside, it's very important to always close your case. Just imagine what would happen if I picked the case up 
and it wasn't fully closed. 